A very busy July has come to an end. We have a packed August ahead of us, although it's more packed in the beginning than in the end, as we'll soon see. So it's time for me to do another Dr. Sadler update video where I talk about what went on during July and what we've got coming up in August. As usual, I'm going to begin this by highlighting three things that I particularly want to bring to your attention. If you're a follower of my channel or of me on Google Plus or Twitter or um, Facebook, any of the other social media things where you might see me. So one big thing is we've reached a sort of milestone in the Half Hour Hegel Project. Not a milestone with the Patreon pledging thing, although that would be cool as well if that happened this month, but a, a milestone in terms of where we're going with it. We are just finishing up with the consciousness section, the, the first real section of the phenomenology, and we're moving into self-consciousness where you're going to find the, the stuff everybody likes to talk about, like the master-slave dialectic. And so I'm going to be doing some stuff this month to call attention to the Half Hour Hegel Project. Um, and perhaps get some of you to consider whether you want to become supporters, backers, patrons of uh, the, the project. So um, another thing that's, that's quite interesting that I'm very happy about is I'm teaching my second class for the Global Center for Advanced Studies, uh, where I'm not only a professor but also an administrator. This is a summer class, one, one month on Plato's Symposium. It started on the 1st of August and is going to continue until the end of August. Um, there's still time if you're interested in it during the first week to enroll before we start getting really deep into the material. So if you're interested in that you can look at the the description of this video and I'll put a link to it. Um, if you want to sign up for it there's still time uh, unless you're watching this much later in the month. Uh, the third thing is that, as I, I brought up in my previous update video, we are in the process of relocating from where we currently are in the Hudson Valley of New York, uh, about an hour and a half north of the city, in the city of Kingston, um, to Wisconsin, southeastern Wisconsin, where Reason I.O., our, our business, and our activities are going to be based. Wisconsin is the, the home state of myself and my wife, who actually I met in, in high school. So we're really looking forward to going home and we're, you know, it's, it's going to take us a bit of uh, planning and staging in order to do that, particularly because we've got so many books. So we're doing the move in stages and it's already beginning in August. We are, we've already got things packed up. We're, we're planning on, on moving some of the stuff out there. We're not going to be completely gone from this area until October, but um, I just wanted to put it on people's radar. So let's talk about the month of July, the extremely busy month for, for me um, and uh, probably for a lot of other people as well, I'm guessing. I had four uh, public appearances. Um, the first one was in the Global Center for Advanced Studies um, uh, reading group. This is an online thing. Um, I gave a guest lecture. They are reading Hegel's Phenomenology, so I gave a guest lecture on the parts of self-consciousness that people don't usually get to because they just read the master-slave dialectic. I, I looked at stoicism, skepticism, and the unhappy consciousness. That went quite well. I was very happy with it. Uh, I also did another Understanding Anger uh, lecture in that series that I've been doing at the Kingston Public Library. This time it was on Plutarch and um, particularly on his text uh, on controlling anger, but, but also looking at how anger plays itself out in his other works as well. We had a great discussion. The video for that is, is linked to. Um, so if you're interested in watching that, you can see that. You can also see all of the other Understanding Anger uh, videos as well. Now, I, I also got asked by the Partially Examined Life, which I think some of you probably know is a podcasting show. They also have a blog. They're really a, a whole community of people who are, are doing philosophy in a rather public way. Um, they asked me if I would come on to their after show, which is a Google Hangout on Air, as a content expert on Nietzsche's Birth of Tragedy, which they they'd done a show on, actually three shows on. And so I said I said yes, and it went on for about two hours or so. 
Um, had a great time talking with the people there. Actually looking forward to connecting up with some of the people once we're back in Wisconsin, since I think Partially Examined Life may in fact be based in, in Wisconsin. Uh, towards the end of the month, I went to the Reading Anselm Conference in, in Boston, hosted by Boston College. Um, and under the, the aegis of the IAAS, which is the International Association for Anselm Studies, I think it's, it's called. Um, this is sort of an umbrella organization for, for worldwide organizations that are involved in the study of, of Anselm of Canterbury and all the other things that he's connected with in you know, 12th century um, politics, thought, history, just wonderful stuff. Um, this was one of the best conferences I've been to in a long time. I did not hear a single paper where I thought, this, you know, this isn't very good. Everything was high caliber. Um, the people who were there, some of them were old friends. Some of them were people that I had met uh, over a decade ago who I reconnected with who are very interested in, in St. Anselm. I even had the time to meet with um, a couple of uh, YouTube supporters in town because I said, look, I'm going to be in Boston. And I, I was able to meet with a good friend of mine, Christian DuPont, who's now working over in the library of Boston College. Um, and uh, he's, he's a, a very important scholar in the history of phenomenology, among many other things. So it was cool to be, be able to connect up with him. I gave a paper on Anselm's uh, prayers and the topic of justice and mercy within them, uh, something that I'm, I'm doing a book project on, and I've been doing a few things here and there um, dealing with that. So this is a chance to start you know, moving that research forward. Paper was very well received, um, gave a lot of good feedback on other people's papers, so it was a really wonderful experience. Um, I also, on a personal note, had, had my... Uh, I went to the annual Lemco family reunion out in Illinois. A uh, good drive from here for, for myself and, and, and the kids, uh, but well worth it. It goes on every year. I come from a, a very uh, large and, and you know pretty well close and connected family where we've done this tradition going back decades. Um, we get together for about three days and... Um, just hang out and have a good time with each other. So now, uh, going back to professional activities, uh, in the YouTube channel, I, I pared back my, my activities to doing about three to four videos a week. Um, probably going to stick with something close to that this month coming up. So that meant I got half hour Hegel videos done. Not quite so many as I had hoped to, but you know, at least I got at four or five in this month. I'm shooting for six, but I didn't, I didn't quite make that. I uh, released a few more critical thinking videos uh, based on, uh, they're focused on fallacies. And I continued releasing the core concept Epicurus videos that I had originally shot for my uh, ethics class that's, that's ongoing right now, but which I released for the general public. And, those have been getting a lot of traction. Um, you know, we did something different with having, you know, much nicer thumbnails, and I think we're probably going to do that for the rest of the core concept videos um, once we get to it. Been working on a few writing projects. I did get some blogging done, primarily in Half Hour Hegel and the Heavy Metal Philosopher blogs. Um, I'd hope to get to more, but, you know, very very busy time. Uh, I've been doing quite a bit more academic writing, including getting my paper ready for the conference, um, but also a few other academic writing projects as well. I did some uh, work with philosophical counseling, um, some consulting work, and a lot of behind-the-scenes work with the Global Center for Advanced Studies. Um, they had a very important conference in Athens, Democracy Rising, a huge success. Um, which is great because now what, what I'm more involved in is getting the fall classes ready for the Global Center for Advanced Studies in general, but, but for me, for the Institute of Humanities and Social Sciences that I'm, I'm supposed to be in charge of. So I've been doing a lot of back and forth working with the people in the GCAS, um, you know, trying to get things ready. Um, a bit more about that later, I think. So what else? I've been prepping the symposium class, which just got started, I mentioned at the beginning, and continuing to teach my online Marist Summer 10-week ethics class. So that's, that's July. 
Let's talk now about August. Um, what do we got coming up in August? So it's, it's, a, it's pretty packed in the beginning of the month as far as events, and then I've got some, some uh, downtime, or at least what looks on the calendar like downtime. Um, this week, um, I'm doing another Global Center for Advanced Studies uh, Hegel Summer Reading Group uh, guest lecture. Uh, it'll be on the religion section. I won't be going through the entire religion section, just uh, uh, the natural religion and uh, art religion. Probably not going into revealed religion. That'll be August 6th, which is uh, Thursday at 10 p.m. If you're interested in, in getting involved in that, in, in, in you know being part of that group, you want to contact this guy, Skipper Boatwright. Uh, you can find him in the event listing, and uh, he can get you squared away. Um, that weekend following, actually just coming up really soon, August 8th, uh, we've got Understanding Anger Lecture 8, the, the penultimate lecture in the series, and this will be focused on early Christian understandings of anger. So I'm not just looking at one thinker, I'm looking at a bunch of thinkers, ranging from John Cassian to, to Augustine to Chrysostom, uh, I'm going to do a little digging in Jerome to see what he might have to say, because he was a pretty angry guy a lot of the time. Um, and a few other people like Lactantius, you know, talking about divine anger. Um, but we're going to be looking at, at a lot of this stuff, and I'm going to focus in particular on which um, scriptural passages ended up being these, you know, places where these guys would focus, like the, you know, don't get angry with your brother, uh, stuff from the Sermon on the Mount, which they read in very different ways. So that's going to be a very fun lecture. If you're interested in that, if you're in the area, 1030, Saturday, August uh, 8th at the Kingston Public Library. Uh, almost immediately after that, the next day, I'm giving a guest sermon at the, U the Unitarian Universalist Community of the Catskills here in Kingston again. Um, that, in that case, the, the lecture is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be on Rainer Maria Rilke and his conception of solitude and how that can be useful for us. It's actually called Solitude, Slowing Down, and Clearing Space. That will be Sunday the 9th at, at 1030. So we've got a few other things going on as well. A lot of video work that I'll be doing. Um, I'm going to try to get as many half-hour Hegel videos done this month as I can. So I'm hoping to get at least six done. And like I mentioned at the, uh, the beginning, we're, we're passing an important milestone. We're making the transition from this difficult force in the understanding section uh, and, and consciousness in general to self-consciousness where you're going to find, um, you know, people engaged with each other, the master-slave dialectic, the battle to the death, all this very sexy material, and then stoicism, skepticism, and the unhappy consciousness. So we're going to begin that. We're not going to actually finish up with all that material this month, but we're going to begin delving into that. Um, I'm doing a lot of core concept videos for the symposium class. I haven't done any core concept videos on Plato's Symposium, although I've done them on a lot of other works. So I'm remedying that with an entire sequence that I'll be using for my students, but I'll also be releasing to the general public um, to help them out if they're reading that text. I'm going to try to get some more critical thinking fallacy videos done. I've been meaning to get that channel uh, filled out and up and running, hopefully before classes begin in the fall so that students have that as a resource. Got a lot of writing projects going on, uh, mostly academic writing, although I'm going to be, be doing a bit more blogging this month. I'm working on polishing up several Anselm papers, including the one that I presented just uh, at this recent conference, like I said, on uh, Anselm's prayers and how mercy and justice play out in those. But I've got a, a number of other Anselm papers that I've just had sitting that I, I you know, should have sent out to, to journals some time ago, but now need to be finally polished up and then sent out uh, to be considered for publication. Uh, need to, you know, I've probably got about 10 of them actually on my hard drive sitting there that I just haven't done, you know, the final steps with. So I won't get to all 10 this month, but um, I need to delve into that. I'm working on some papers still on Gabriel Marcel. I began a paper on Marcel's role in the Christian philosophy debates. Uh, earlier this summer, and then to ha had to you know put it on hold. I'm going to finish that up this uh, this month. I'm also going to be working on another paper for a conference that is coming up in the fall, 
where I will be presenting on, on Gabriel Marcel and Jean-Paul Sartre as existentialists who represent extremely different views on the existential uh, and who actually had a personal beef with each other quite a bit of the time. Um, I've, been, I've been asked to write a, a fairly popularly oriented book discussing anger from a variety of philosophical and theological perspectives. And so I'm working on the chapter outline and the prospectus for that this month. I already have a publisher lined up who's interested in me um, writing a book on that. So I need to get cracking on, on that material. Um, it's a good opportunity for me to think out exactly how I want to approach matters, who I want to be in the book, who I don't want to be in the book. Because, you know, it's kind of like triage. You know, same thing when you're, when you're teaching a class, you know, who's going to make it into the syllabus and the reading list and who isn't. Same thing when you're writing a book, because books can only be so long. Um, coursework. I am finishing up a Marist 10-week uh, online summer ethics course, and I'm prepping for two courses in the fall that I'll be teaching with Marist Worldviews and Values. Um, you may have seen some of the videos for that. Um, there's an entire course out there in which I go through 10 weeks of, of that, 10 different thinkers. I'm also teaching the symposium class right now, and at this time, if you're watching this video, if you still want to sign up for that class, there's still time to enroll with the Global Center for Advanced Studies. But I'm also getting the Global Center for Advanced Studies fall classes ready in the Institute for Humanities and Social Sciences. We actually have four classes coming up, one of which will be taught by me, Philosophical Foundations, core class in the, the GCAS. Uh, another core class is going to be Ethics, Moral Theories, and Applications. But we are going to also have two other elective classes, a Philosophical Approaches to Religion and a Social and Political Philosophy class. So we've got four different instructors. I've recruited them. Um, I'm, you know, we're finishing up the, the bits and bolts of uh, putting together the course sites, getting the syllabi, syllabi completely you know, airtight, um, you know, developing rubrics for assignments, all the, the stuff that goes into uh, having an entire curriculum. And this is the core, uh, this is the beginning, this is the, the kernel for something that's going to expand into something uh, larger and larger over time. The Institute for Humanities and Social Sciences in the GCAS is going to grow uh, over the next several years. We're building a philosophy program, and so I'm really excited to be involved in the start of that. I will be um, shooting a video a little bit later this month and releasing it where I'm going to talk in considerable detail about each of these classes and why it could be a good idea for interested students, lifelong learners, professionals to take these Global Center for Advanced Studies classes. So that is pretty much it for the month of August. Now that I think about it, that's an awful lot of stuff to try to get done. So I should probably bring this to a close and wish you a good month ahead.